Hi guys, it's time for another Aeronautica Imperialis painting uh, tutorial or little video basically. I, I'm loving this game. Um, I've been painting up some uh, some of the fighters which I did a previous video on and um, I've done things like that. So I've just finished off a, a Valkyrie, uh, doing the bases up, things like that. So yeah, loving the game. Uh, I'm loving the scale. <laughs> you can do lots of things. Uh, sorry, that was a Vendetta, not six. This is a Valkyrie. Um, now, I always in 40k toyed with the idea of a guard army, but like, I always liked the idea of a Valkyrie, special forces black. Okay, um, so why not try it for Aeronautica? <laughs> um, we're going to start, it's Chaos Black Primed. We're going to start by giving Heavy Dry Bush Corvus Black, then Mechanicus Grey into that, then White into that, and we're going to dry brush it up. And then we're going to use our shade to shade all that down and make it look a realistic black. Okay, black's really difficult. I'm, you can do fine lining, edge highlighting, things like that for 40k, but at this scale, it ain't going to look right. Okay, so we're going to start with our multi stage of dry brush. So, Corvus Black first. Corvus Black's like a little bit grey, it's quite a nice colour. Um, I like Corvus Black anyway. I've got a big dry brush, oscillate those bristles. <laughs> bit onto my paper okay work it into the bristles yeah and I'm gonna go just like before I did with the other planes across the length of the plane getting out my hands obviously part of the joy of painting eh? And down with the direction of the flow of the air. Okay, I'm going to come back with a bit more on that. Black's difficult <clears throat> because we don't want it to look grey. We want it to look black but real, if that makes sense. And the only way you can do that is with building that gradient up with grey to a point that you're happy with, yeah? And obviously you won't see a great deal of difference with the Corvus Black first, because it's our darkest base. <clears throat> so that's Corvus. Straight away I'm coming in with Mechanicus, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a real small amount of Mechanicus in with some Corvus. Yeah? To get that lighter gradient done. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? And I'm catching the edges of the miniature. Along its wingspan. Down the back. Going in the same direction with the airflow because that's a like creates almost like a trick highlight. Okay, so can you see how it's starting to pick the colour up? Okay, on that is there. Back door, a little bit different on that because it'd be a contact point on the ground, wouldn't it? I imagine sort of like I don't know what car sucking sort of zip wiring out the back of it <laughs> into those. Those zones, you know. Okay, I'm now going to come in with a bit more mechanic screen into that mix, into my bristles. And now that we're getting lighter, I'm thinking about the areas on the plane that are going to be raised down the centre of the cockpit line. Wings, tail fins. Yeah. Underneath this area and this area, because I'm letting the natural shadow of the miniature do some of the work for me here. Okay, so we're starting to get a nice sort of gradient built up. Now I'm going to close my Corvus Black because I don't need to use it anymore, and I'm going to bring out Corax White. Now at the minute, you might think, hang on a minute, we're going to go too light here, 
which is totally fine. A bit more than that, guys. <laughs> there we go. This initial dry brush, you might think, well, that's grey. And it is grey. <laughs> you are absolutely right. And we're going to go one stage higher here than we would do if this was a 40k miniature or if it was our normal sort of painting. Yeah? So I've really given that a sort of ping on the top. Tail fins. Down the sides. The wings. Underneath the miniature, where it's raising up. <clears throat> and there you have it. So we dry brushed up through what sort of four different gradients there. And that is going to be our black base coat. So what we're going to do now <clears throat> is we're going to let that base coat dry. And we're going to set up with our smaller brush. And pick up the details so i'll come back to you in a second and there we go so our base is dry and that's going to give us a good tonal underlayer for our wash so what we're going to do now is going to use our sort of medium brush pick out his last cannon this this sort of ray thing missile pod front and backs these little sort of jet things in in a silver so i'm using gun metal and um, a darker silver Use any silver you want, really, guys, because the wash will do a lot of great deal of the work for us. Um, it's just to give it that actual sort of layer. Um, it just, I don't know, it just sort of, I like the, like the gunmetal. It's just a, how I like to, to, to paint this sort of scale. And we're just literally just painting it in. Okay. Um, It's an interesting experiment because there's not going to be a great many colours on the miniature. Um, but we we will get there and see what it looks like when it's done. I don't know what it is, I always like the idea of Special Forces Guard. You know, I like Special Forces, the idea of them um, interests me. Um, Although Special Forces Guards can get killed in about five seconds, I suppose, in fight came out. <laughs> uh, the Aquila will do, obviously, gold. There you go, front of that missile pod. Front of his, uh, his fellow missile pod on this side. And I'm just dabbing it on because the actual missiles are. It's got like a raised detail on there, but we still. They want to come out of a silver tube. <laughs> okay. The back of the missile pod. fellow one on the other side and I'm adding silver in just to you know we do I know it's a special forces black Valkyrie <laughs> but we still want it to look as if it is a few different colors not just just a black model um, it's something different you know I'm really liking aeronautica um, Really very impressed with it. I think it's um, such a good game. It's like that. You can have a quick pickup game with your mates, but you can also have a real sort of in-depth campaign, um, which is what one of the guys at the club's doing at the minute, which we're really excited about. So I'm actually going to try and sort of record some of it. Um, I think it might be an easier thing to, to battle report upon. <laughs> the front there, there's like a... I saw a panel in there. Which we'll just give it a, give it a tickle with silver. Um, there's these two sort of things here. And the turbines themselves. 
and we're going to do them all silver on this to give that sort of bit of an area of interest yeah so I've got a towel sort of I'm doing the Imperials first just to you know honor the Imperium and all that sort of thing um, but Tau I think are going to be my fleet because I've got the Skies of Firebox um, but I think that I may look at getting a few Orc planes as well because uh, Joe my friend that plays the Ultramarines he's, uh, he's starting an Orc army 40k and I think it'd be pretty cool to have Aeronautica and 40k linked um, you know if you've, if you've done any of that you know let me know um, I saw a really good battle report yesterday, there was a couple of guys, I'm sorry guys, I can't remember what your channel was called. Um, just playing through it and, and it's good, you know, it's a good game. I think it's anything that you can link them together, it's good. And uh, Games Workshop, if you're listening, get, get, get those Necrons out here. Yeah? So I'm doing the full turbine here guys, I'm just going across the top of it. Yeah, it's a relatively simple process. It's not. It's not difficult. I'm just just silvering in what I want to be silver. So I made a slight mistake there, um, but it's on the edge of a panel. And uh, the next step I'm doing, so anybody that's watched my previous video will know the next step I do is add a bit of battle damage on. So I'm actually going to leave that because <laughs> it's just sort of kissed the edge of that panel. It looks all right. Um, okay, so that's silver aspects done. And um, what I do now is I'm just going to add a bit of battle damage. Okay, and the way I do that, I just go down the wing, guys. I just sort of flare it at the end. Go down the wing. This side as well. I'm not going to go all the way in there because I'm going to do something on that aspect there. Back fin. Yeah, the special forces, these guys at the end of the day, aren't they? They're, they're going into the where the fighting is hardest, so to speak. So just, just a bit of a kiss on the edge of the wings there, just for a bit of battle damage. Do one underneath, maybe around where that hinge is. That hinge on that side. Paint wood chip, yeah. And little kiss on this side here for just just the lightest uh, there we go okay so that's our silver done let's go in and do that aquila i'm using retributor armor it's gold basically <laughs> the lightest amount on the on the palette there's only tiny Aquila, so let's see if we can, let's see if we can pick that out, yeah? There we go, so that's the Aquila done. <coughs> the windows. Now this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to change brush size for this. And I'm actually going to start to layer them with Mechanicus Grey first. Okay, there's method to this madness, so to speak. So I'm coming in with Mechanicus Grey, and then I'm going to go a bit of detail white over them. And then one of the final stages we're going to use is like a, yeah, a clear red, because I like the idea of like a red glow from the special pulses windows. So for these, I'm just going to go in, just paint the centers. Same across the top. All the best pilots like to see out, don't they? This area here. Yeah. What that'll do, when we put the actual red sort of coat over the top of that, That'll give the, the sort of illusion of, of glow and depth. So that we're also now going to come in with a bit of Corex white. 
the one paint I always sort of struggle to shake Garnet's wine. I don't know why. It's a, it's one of those, isn't it? A tiniest bit of water in the palette, guys, as always. And I'm just going into the middle of where I put the grey. Yeah, so I've made a slight mistake, huh? Yeah, forgive me. <laughs> but because we're at this stage, the reason I'm doing the white now is because I can use Mechanicus Grey and just correct that. Okay. So we've done the, the white. It's really difficult in these areas here. Just to get in there. There we go. Okay, so we've done the white. I'm just going to correct that mechanic with Mechanicus Grey. I still have some on my my trusty wet palette. Yeah. And I'm also just going to go across the top of these joins in Mechanica Square. Just to really sort of make that area pop. <laughs> so we're getting there. The special forces are coming, you know. It is a simple paint job, guys, but it's just a sort of a Bit of an example of what you can do, I suppose. So what we're going to do now as well, there is also, I noticed, I don't know if it'll have it, on the Vendetta there was like a little light down here. Is that it, do you think? Maybe those two there. So what we're going to do, we'll just give them a dot. You, you're yellow. Yeah, it might be quite, um, I still haven't quite decided on the colour that I'm going to do the towel. I might do them in the blue. Ones and, and you'll forgive me for not being able to quote what that sets is called. I was never the uh, the biggest lover of town, um, but uh, you know, there you go. Here, here they are. <laughs> okay, so we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. So what we're going to do now? I'm going to leave this to dry, and when this is fully dry, I'm going to go over the top, of the front of these missiles in red, and then we're also going to look at maybe put putting a line on there just just to break up the black. Okay, so I'm going to leave it to dry first, guys, and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so we're now going to add uh, a decal line here. So all I've done, I've used standard, what's it called? <laughs> Masking tape, that's it. Um, and I've just gone along the panel lines, and I've got some, some Corex white. And I'm literally just the lights to touch is down the centre, and then in. Starting over the paper and working away from the paper join. Okay, now it doesn't need to be brilliantly accurate to the edge. It's painted on at the end of the day. Across the edge like that. Little tickle on the back. Yeah. And then we'll go down the middle one more time. I want it to look as if it's worn a little bit. Okay. We've got those there, so there's been a slight nip over basically, so which is really easy to rectify. Yeah, I call this black and a small brush, and we are literally just going to say right that went into the panel line there, so I'm getting rid of it. There, done. Okay. So we've now got a, a marking on the wing, so to speak. Just breaks it up a little bit, makes it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to get into our missile pods. I don't know about you, but any good missile <coughs> has a red warhead on it. <laughs> so, Mephiston Red. Check it up a bit. We're still going to put it on our palette and add, and add a tiny bit of water to it, guys. We don't need a great deal of paint here. Um, you know, it literally can be the, it's the lightest of touches with this. Um, there we go. 
and we, we just want to sort of get the front of these missiles. Yeah, it's for the side of our brush. And you know, just pick them out. I don't think there's any more red anywhere on the on the plane itself. I don't, I don't think there is. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Okay. So when that's dry. We're going to tie the entire miniature together with uh, a good old trusty wash, a dark towel. Okay? Um, but it does need to dry, so we'll let that thoroughly dry, give him a wash of dark towel, and then we're on to final touches. Okay, so base less dry. So it's time to break up a little bit, and we're going to come in with our dark towel. Get a shake. Get my little ink pool tray over here. At this scale, dark tone is brilliant. Brush. And then we're going to go over the whole thing. Um, I'm starting on the metallics just to show you, you know, what it does. I use it in quite a few of my videos. Um, it gives you an idea, basically. Okay. And it just... At this scale, as we've said before... The sort of fewer techniques you can use, almost the better. Um, you don't want to overload it with lots of sort of various fancy techniques, you know. Okay, so can you see on the side there what it's doing to the? It's leaving the highlight in, but it's darkening down the entirety of the model. What I'm doing, I'm sort of leaving the actual windows that we've done as well. Because um, we've done quite a nice highlight effect on there. I'm going over the, uh, the light things. Close them as we can. We'll come back and do the top of the canopies. Side of the minute here. So this is not forgetting the effect we're looking for here is realistic black. Okay. Top of the wings. All the way over that damage on that wing. Yeah, I'm going with the direction like the airflow again. I'm going all the way over the white. Tone it down. And I literally used to know a group of guys that they uh, they painted everything. Forty k, thirty k, thirty k armies with dark tone and shade powders and things like that, and, and the stuff looked brilliant, you know, really simple but brilliant. And it's you know I'm not going to powder a model this size, you know. Weathering powders are fantastic for for tanks and, and large scale things like that. A miniature this size is uh, it's not needed really. You know, that's not to you know, not see. You can have a go. You know, have a go. Get your powder out. I've seen some brilliant effects with powders, but on this scale, I wouldn't use it. Okay. A bit more of the dark tone. Yeah, you can move the wash around as well, you know, so like there, for example, I've gone a bit heavy on that aspect. I still want the actual damage to show through. Um, so you can move it about with your brush. Okay, but what it does, it, it just ties it all together. It really does. Um, and this is over a black. Remember, so we, we did a black 
We did about three or four different stages of dry brush over the top of that. So what I'm doing now, the canopy, I'm going to try my best not to get out of the windows. Which may be easier said than done. Yeah, but take your time. You don't need to, there's no rush, painting. There we go. The front. Make sure we've captured all the areas we want to. There we go. <clears throat> so obviously that's still wet, but you can see the, the sort of effect it'll give is that edge highlighted effect, but because it's ink, it's leaving it where it should only, you know, they say the scale it is for the model, if that makes sense. So it's not gonna look like you've got a six foot line across the surface of your model. Wing markings, they wanna be large, because that, you know, they're there for a reason, aren't they? Um, there we go, so we're gonna leave that to dry. We're gonna come in, pick up a bit more of the battle damage detail, and then we'll do the windows. Okay, I'll come back to you guys. There we go, so our uh, wash is drying. Can you see the sort of effect it's given us? It's like a realistic black. All the metallic's done. So we need to come in here into the windows and we're going to give them a glow and then we're going to do some battle damage. And the way we're going to give it a glow is we're going to use a paint called Tamiya Clear Red. This is really good, guys, for things like blood effects, things like that. But I've also seen it used on sort of windows, you know, for like sort of special forces essentially. So if you want a glow, <coughs> then this is this is the stuff for you. So tiny bit on the brush and we're going to come into these windows and it also has a bit of a, a, bit of a shine to it as well it's quite actually good for blood um, Just be as careful as you can, you know, it is more delicate. Part of the paint job really, I suppose. But it will pick up the undershade, so like the light effects underneath it, the white, and it'll obviously be the lighter red. And your black will be a darker red. Yeah, so if you see, sort of affect your mountain a little bit more on there. Don't need to be loads and loads, just just enough to get the effect going, you know. And this works really well on like clear canopies and things like that. Yeah. There we go. Special forces. Sort of glow to the windscreen, so that's the windows done. Okay. And put our lid back on that and make sure you thoroughly wash your brush as well because it is a bit more unforgiving. So we're gonna thoroughly wash the brush out. And clean our brush. And then we're gonna come in with some chips. And we're just gonna use a bit of Stormhouse Silver. using the tiniest bit and we're using it straight out of the pot for this as I expect as well and we're just going to go into the inside of the chips a little bit give it a bit of a 
bit of undulation, so to speak. I don't know, is that the best way of putting it? It just makes it look a bit more, you know, like it's actually had a, a hit from something. Yeah, you don't need a lot of this. And we didn't go excessive on the actual chip in itself, did we? So we're just going to go in here. Yeah. Get a bit of life, so to speak. Things that you can do as well if you want to. I won't highlight too much on this miniature. It's just maybe the top of the engines here. Give them that sort of focal point. And then maybe the top of the last cannon as well, eh? Yeah. So, another thing you can do just to sort of mimic gold is on the actual gold itself. We're just going to put a dot at the top there. Dots on the wings, just make it pop. The actual engines themselves, I'm going to leave quite dark. Um, I think that's sort of quite befitting. Perhaps around the edges here as well. Just give those a little, a little kiss with it. Yeah. It just makes it pop on a, essentially an all black miniature. Okay. So what we're going to do now. We have, do you remember the lenses? The little yellow lenses. We're going to come back in with our Uriel yellow. Again, tiny start of this. I'm not watering down because I want I want it to stay exactly where I put it, basically. Tiny stops on the end. And we're also going to come back in with our Mephiston Red. Just give the highest of touches to the missiles. Using the side of the brush, yeah? The side's done. Bit too much paint on the brush there. There you have it. We are done, I think. So, close up paints. Push down the surface. There we go. So, one special forces Valkyrie with a realistic black effect and a, uh, a glow in the windows. So, thank you for watching. More Aeronautica Imperialis coming soon. I uh, can't wait to start playing it. Uh, I've always wanted to do a special forces Valkyrie, and there it is. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, there's more videos coming soon. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, happy hobbying.